Well, if you're a shaky head angler, you have probably tried just about every type of worm or plastic out there on the market for your shaky head rig. And I'm sure that you have some that are your favorites that you have confidence in. Well, like you, I've tried about everything out there in the marketplace. And this is just another reason why the Elastec worm, like the Super Finesse worm, is the only type of plastic I will use on my shaky heads from now on. I was doing some filming in 10 foot of water and it's not easy to film at that depth because it's hard to pick out the lures and you spend a lot of time searching around before you actually find what you're looking for. But when I finally picked this worm up and started to move in on it, I noticed right away the lifelike movements in it, the twitching and you know the, the kind of the tail movement there. And here's the part that was interesting. I just had my rod laying on my boat dock. I wasn't touching it at all. My hands weren't even on it. I was working on running the camera and this lure at this depth, at this greater water pressure, just had these super natural looking movements to it. And at first I thought, well, you know, even though the camera is quite a distance here when I first saw it, you know, maybe it's the thrusters kicking the water up and creating some commotion there. So I thought I would test it out. So I took the lure and put it in really shallow water, all right? And then I brought that camera up to it. I got within inches of it. The worm never moved. I even got so close, I was kicking up all kinds of debris. You can see it here in front of the lens. Still, the worm never moves. I put it back out there at 10 foot of water and then started to film it again. Once again, the tail of that thing is just kind of moving around and you know pulsating a little bit it looks incredible so my takeaways from this is that added water pressure okay 10 foot of water on top of this lure is going to impact or make it react differently way differently than if it's sitting in 10 inches of water so i was like man that's got to be some of what's going on here and plus there could be some natural convection currents going with the springtime here and water starting to warm up cooler water sinking but one thing is for sure it looked extremely lifelike with no movement for me whatsoever which means it is working all the time and that is what i am always looking for and hey, if you're as obsessed with colors as I am, especially natural looking colors for shallower situations, jerk baits and stuff like that, go ahead and check this video out right here of some colors that I am really obsessed with. And hey, make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life for the bass fishing life. I'm your host, Steve Rogers.